Hey you guys, so I wanted to do a little um, review of the paint by numbers. Now it's not really a review, but it's more like an unboxing. I'm going to give this away shortly, but um, yeah, in case you guys never heard about this, I wanted to share this with you guys because previous to picking this up, I didn't even know this thing existed. So this is basically like a black, a blank canvas set and it has like outlines and they tell you exactly what what area to paint like a specific color and yeah it's like 16 by 20 inches it has a wooden display hanger the reason why this was tossed is this part over here got separated so this is the numbers you can see the numbers of the paint colors it comes with the wood perfectly sealed there's nothing wrong with it it's just the box got destroyed they could have marked it down, they could have used some packing tape, clear packing tape, and just put a big, you know, hunk of tape on there, but I guess it's easier to toss it. Paint brushes. I thought about actually keeping this for myself. I had this for about a month. But I didn't end up using it, and I'll show you the reason why. Um, if you look on the reviews on Amazon, you will see that this is a beautiful, beautiful tiger painting and this actually looks really good when you finish it however it takes about like 30 to 50 hours to do it this is the reason why you see all these numbers here see all this it's freaking crazy so every number corresponds to a pink color <laughs> and I thought to myself oh hell no this is, there's no way I'm going to be able to do this. I posted this online for free. A person is going to pick it up really shortly. And before I give it to them, I wanted to show you this. So these are the paint colors over here. See here? And these are the numbers that you can see for here, for instance, right? Oh, hold on, I don't want to. You can see like, uh, if you look over there, you might see number, let's see here. Goodness, what, what number is this? I can't see it. Number 19. So 19 is here. And then 19 is like a shade of white. So you have like white, grays, and everything. And when you fill this out, it will have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, canvas thing. So I'm going to roll this thing up. Make sure it's all nice and neat for them. And put this back in. But I wanted to show you how this thing looked like. Um, yeah, so this is a pretty popular thing. It seems people, um, this was actually on Black Friday. And I don't have the patience for this stuff. If you guys want to make your own painting of swords, and it's, it's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. Just match the numbers with wherever the outline tells you. Yeah, you can make something really great like this. But for me, I know I'm not going to do it. So this is why I think rehoming things would be really, really good. And this works out um, beautifully. I don't. I, I actually got annoyed seeing this box after a while because I thought to myself, geez, it's just like a big freaking cardboard box just sitting there. I'm not really doing anything. Yeah, so I'm going to give this out shortly. And I cannot wait to see how the completed image looks like. They said that after they finish it, they're going to send me a picture of it. And when I get that picture, I'll sh post it on my community page so you guys can see how the end result is. They don't just have tigers. I've seen stuff like, um, they have like birds. They have, I've seen like uh, Van Gogh's Starry Night. That's another thing. And um, yeah, it's, oh, here it is. See, look. 2,685 numbered sections, degree of difficulty challenging. Yeah, really, it is challenging. It is, I think it is, um, I don't know if I would really say it's fun. I think after a while it can get a little aggravating. Um, you really don't need to have any previous art experiences. And just to recap, you get this one sixteen by 21.5 inch canvas sheet, the four brushes, two detail brushes, one small round flat brush. 28 numbered paint pots, which is like I saw earlier. And then you got the picture. I didn't show you guys the picture, but it was basically um, this, but a little bigger. Your reference sheet, display hanger, the rods, and then the metal pins. And 
yeah, I cannot wait to see how this thing looks like at the end. Uh, let me show you guys. Where's the hardware? Oh, here's the hardware. Okay, you can see the hardware right there. Ta da! Hardware, canvas, uh, paint, um, wooden rods, and then the paint canvas. I just opened this thing up again. Yeah, I think um, a lot of returns, they just they just throw it out. They probably just throw it in a compactor and it's... I wish that they would mark this stuff down, but they, they don't. Um, you know, for reasons, maybe if they think that the item is... Well, like for this, for instance, right? Like if you do a Home Depot return, depending on what you return, they might say, well, if they're returning a drill, maybe it's broken or proclaiming that it's broken instead of just selling it in a discount bin they'll just write it off as a loss this kind of stuff for instance i mean i just think like just put a piece of packing tape on here just write something like i think normally i think on sale this thing is like 10 bucks but you could do something like five dollars and i'm pretty sure someone would have bought it three dollars and would have bought it um this kind of stuff just going to the landfill because of the packaging kind of saddens me kind of saddens me and i don't even um I don't even go to this location um, where I grabbed it very often, so I know that there is a whole bunch of stuff that I am unable to rescue, and it just it's perfectly usable. Like you guys saw, this is perfectly usable, but um, for a store, it's much easier for them to throw things out than keep it in or try to mark it down. Yep, so I will talk to you guys later. I just wanted to do a quick stream. Also, um... I'm feeling better today. I do have a sore throat. I don't know if you guys can catch it, but I am planning to go to the store tomorrow. Hopefully, third time is the charm. Uh, someone had written uh, something along the lines of, oh, you know, were you pushing yourself too hard or were you over exerting yourself yesterday? And yeah, um, I was actually doing a lot of, I was pulling a lot of stuff off of the, um, out of the, around the house trying to declutter and then we we pulled out the ac in it so maybe that was the reason you know maybe i was just really dehydrated and i have coconut water but now now i definitely know yeah that was like a really really bad headache i went to sleep early and i took a nap and yeah i just i'm just i'm just happy that um i'm just happy that my headache is over even though my throat still feels kind of crappy um on on the other thing too is that when we were pulling the ac i didn't realize how much freaking water was pulling out i'm not bsing you guys when we pulled out the ac i actually saw no seam flying out from the ac so i cannot help but wonder maybe the no seams were breeding in the ac unit because the ac unit is outside right and then they go out you know once they get out of the ac they look and they say oh crap you know there's a light right outside of the window and yeah, and then they fly right in. So that could have been what happened. I'm not too sure. Um, I've also read someone who had it in the comment section for one of my um, no seam videos that I was, um, one of my many, many no seam videos. They said something along the lines of they've been battling no seams for three months. What did I do to get rid of them? It was really a combination of things. Uh, I put it inside of the, I think I pinned the comment, but it was a combination of making sure we closed down the blinds closing the windows, making sure we take 1,000 milligrams of garlic pills every day. Uh, we take four tablets. And then uh, we also have that UV light. And besides that, we, what else do we do? Yeah, I think that's it. I think it's um, basically close the windows, close the curtains, because if you close the curtains, you're blocking the light from going outside. And I know these noceums are attracted to light. So I wanted to reduce my chances. We only see about one no a day right now, maybe two, but I mostly just see one or zero. I think the no battle is basically gone or basically defeated, but knock on wood, I, you know, I might be wrong. I'm still covered up head to toe. Also, coincidentally, happens to be winter, so I have a good reason to. And yeah, um, no, I didn't get a test. I don't think I don't think that I have it. I just think that I've had a I've had a sore throat for the last um, the last week or so. If you guys hear my streams, you hear like my throat always sounds dry. It's not because I'm not taking cough drops, and it's not because I'm not drinking enough water. 
but uh, okay, with the exception of yesterday. Um, but I think that um, yeah, it's just yeah. So um, my throat has just been kind of giving me issues from the last week or so. That's a sign. Oh. But I don't think all. Do you guys think all? Well, I don't have a. I don't have a fever. That's for sure. I don't have a fever, but I also have like a runny nose. No, I don't have a. No, I only had a one-time headache. Um. But I had the sore throat. I didn't have chills. I also have like a runny nose. I think I have basically a cold. To be honest with you guys. Like a post nasal drip sort of thing, which sucks. I feel tired because my throat is sore. But I uh, just feel kind of sleepy because the weather is like crap. Like if you look outside, the weather is just so gloomy and it's that perfect sleep weather. Like that's how it's been for the last, um, that's how it's been for the last week or so. You look outside the window and it, because it's getting chilly, it's like all I want to do is just stay under a blanket. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm planning to go to the store tomorrow. I feel, no, I don't really feel like I'm really drained. I feel more like, I just, um, how do I put it? I feel like, you know when you're in like a dark, cozy, warm room? And then it's like the perfect sleep temperature and like it's it's always kind of dark and like the the how gloomy it is right now it looks like it's about 6 p.m 6 or 7 p.m in the summer and it's just it's just very cozy so i just want to grab my blanket and grab like a, a cup of hot cocoa or a cup of hot tea and watch a movie and just like kick back and relax <laughs> <laughs> <It's hibernations. laughs> uh, yeah, um, yeah, I have like a pulse nasal drip going on. Oreo, Oreo has been caught with that bug, um, the sleepy bug lately too. I don't know, is post nasal drip a sign of, you know what? Oh, hello there. Hello there, Blackberry. Come here, come here. Come here. Come here, little one. Oh, she ran away from me. Okay, okay, hold it up a second, you guys. about oxygen and that brings up a really good point because I completely forgot about this so hey does this thing work dang it I took out the battery One moment. Okay, you guys. Let's see. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let me grab
Yeah, I had a meetup about 30 minutes ago and the person's not here, so. Okay, here, here we go. Dang it, how come this thing isn't working? One moment. Oh, Erica. So we got this off Amazon. See it? Ta da! So, if I remember correctly, I think I put my finger in here. Let me see here. So, put your finger right there. And let's see. Okay. So you guys get to see. Okay, so here is me. And I think I'm at what my That? I'm trying to do this with one hand, you guys. So my, that little percent sign on top, that's my blood oxygen saturation. So I guess I'm at 100%. See that? Right here? Symbol of oxygen saturation, my pulse rate. So my pulse rate is 80, and then my blood, uh, my oxygen saturation is 100. So I think, I think I'm pretty good. <laughs> I think really I just have a, um, I just have like a, Pulse nasal drip I've been just having to deal with. Um, my headache is completely gone. So I think I was just really dehydrated. And it makes sense because you know, lugging that AC, that AC is like over 100 pounds. Okay, so let's try it again then. Let's see. Okay, so here we go. Someone's going to look at this thing. If they, if they actually look at this paint by numbers and be like, what the hell is this weird ass stream? I thought this was supposed to be a focus stream. Not not have a blood oxygen. <laughs> okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Wait a second. Am I doing this right now? Hold up. Okay. Maybe I put my finger in too early. <laughs> I'm dead, you guys. <laughs> oh, I wonder if my battery is low. That could just be it, too. I know I'm still alive. <laughs> Am I doing this thing wrong? Come on. Someone's gonna look at this and be like, man, she's she must be a ghost. Okay. Finger inserted all the way in. Yeah, my finger is all the way in. See, here's the thing. Here's my finger. I'm definitely still alive. Okay, hold on. Let me read the instructions again. Here we go. Overview. Da, 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 da. Oh, I think it might be low on battery. Yeah, it might be low on battery. Which is crazy because we didn't even use it that often. This thing already died out of battery.
When the did it in flickers continuously, that means the battery needs to be replaced. Is it? Is it? Is it? I don't know. Come on. Yeah, my hand is still normal. I think this thing is definitely off, though. Gotta show this. Mm. Okay. I think maybe my battery is low. Let's try this. Whip out these batteries, throw these batteries away. I tried to recycle our batteries, by the way. Okay, and here's my minus. Minus, where are you, minus? Let's see. Let's see here. Okay. Okay, we're gonna just do that. And let's try it this way. Or maybe this thing broke. <laughs> uh... Oh, yep, I'm still alive. So, anyway, I guess it was a battery issue, which makes sense. Kind of surprising, though, because we haven't, we've only used this for maybe about 20 times, and the battery's already dead. Who knows? Who knows? And I'm pretty sure those, um, those Maxwell's are the ones that came originally with this one. So, anyway, I don't know if the heart rate is accurate. I'm, right now I'm at 66. That's kind of weird, because before I was at, what, like 70-something? Okay, never mind, my heart rate's going back up. So, seems like my oxygen levels is fine. And, yeah, it's good to have one of these on hand. I can't guarantee... You're breathing. Yeah, I am. That's a good thing. Yeah, I know. Is your, is your blood breathing? Uh, yeah, I'm at a, I'm at 100% uh, blood oxygen. <laughs> I think I'm actually higher than Lewis's. Lewis's one, when he... Um, yeah, so I have a lot of oxygen coming <laughs> to me, I guess. And I'm happy about that. Um, I don't know, like some people, they say like when you have a lower number, that's even better. For me, I always think, yeah, but I have a lower number, that means my heart is more efficient. So I don't really want to be like, um, beep, 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 beep. I feel like sometimes when I look at, when I read these numbers, I think, man, my heart seems like it should be a little bit more efficient, right? Who knows? But anyway, so that is it. And I gotta wipe this down later. But yeah, thank you for uh, letting me or reminding me about that. I, it completely slipped my mind. I know that uh, when when Lewis was sick, you know, we we thought like, oh, maybe maybe he had um, maybe he had it. So he got a test done, and he came out negative. And he, he quarantined himself for like two weeks because he was just feeling not so good and he had concerns. So, yeah, for me, it's like I just know I have um, a sore throat. I have a like a runny nose. Um, my headache was just uh, yesterday when I was trying to help Lewis lug that AC. That AC is so freaking heavy, you guys. It's really no joke. I Like that AC it was originally the one from 186. And it's, it's, it's like 110 pounds. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's clunky and heavy and wide. 
but it does a good job. It's only that I didn't realize like the water was pooling underneath. So when it got flipped over to the side, it just it just released basically like a a, a huge stream of water, which yeah, which was not good. Yeah, so for this, I don't know if I would really, I mean, I don't know too much about this one, but it seems like it worked okay. You can definitely feel free getting another brand on Amazon. This is what we have around. But um, it would be helpful, I think, if you guys do have concerns about your, your oxygen levels, get something like this online. We got it from Amazon. I forgot how much it was, but yeah. Just make sure you have good batteries. This actually came with batteries. So if you if you um, get this and then it dies pretty quickly, just know I think this actually is a battery eater. And I try to remove the batteries out, but I also use these batteries for something else, I think. <laughs> so that could be it too. Well, I'm gonna go talk to you guys later. And it seems like the influencer is up doing something. I don't know what he's doing. He's muttering to himself. He's talking to himself. He's not even live streaming. This is what happens when you have to make videos and you have to kind of think about what topic you're going to do. You talk to yourself and mutter to yourself. Hey, by the way, so people saw the comment that I allegedly, well, I allegedly wrote on your comment section, which was completely false because you took my phone from me. I never took your phone. Yes, you did. You said I wanted a ThinkPad. Well, Anya said that, huh? Provide evidence this is worse than Trump's voter fraud. Oh, whatever you. Well, anyway, I just wanted to tell you I don't need a ThinkPad because as Anya said, I can think for myself. I would like to have a MacBook. And only a, a higher or a, a more recent year than a 2012 MacBook Air. Don't send me something from 1985 or 19, you know, I'm gonna get you 1990. A no, I don't want. I don't want anything that's thicker than Clio. And plus, I only have four four gigabytes of RAM. I, have a SCSI I need to have higher. I'm I don't. Get you a machine with a SCSI I don't want anything with a floppy disk either. You're you gonna be trolling me. Speed high speed. High I, speed. No, I don't, I don't want, I want, you can, you can feel free to give me something with the M1 chip. How's that? I will take something uh, shiny and new and... You're not getting an M1 chip. You're getting a ThinkPad. I don't it, want a ThinkPad. You're getting what you asked for. I never asked for a ThinkPad. You, you took, ThinkPad. you took my phone. You took my phone. Prove it, Giuliani. Huh? Prove it, Giuliani. Well, Prove I... Prove it, didn't happen. Okay, like... Three minutes after you posted that comment, I immediately wrote on that comment, that right underneath that hacked. comment, huh? That was you getting hacked. Yeah, that was by you. That was by you. I, I do not want any of these this ThinkPad stuff. Plus, why would I want a ThinkPad? I, I love my MacBook. I, mean, I, I have great joy when I use it. It sparks joy for me. Plus, you know, think about it, right? If I get a ThinkPad and I have issues, or if I crack the screen, then what? Like, that would not be good. I'd have to, I'd have to bring it to a Lenovo. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna break the screen of a ThinkPad. But I don't want a ThinkPad. I like having my MacBook. I like my MacBook very, very, very much. So, um, yeah, I was planning to do video editing. Uh, Cleo is is not too happy having to do video editing. I'll, I'll put it that way. Uh, when I was, when I try to un, um, upload videos, or when I try to import in videos, or when I try to put in music, <laughs> I get the pinwheel. I get the hardworking pinwheel coming in. Oh, hello there, handsome. Oh, I have a handsome man next to me. Oh, hello. Hold up, hold up. Let's let's show everybody who the real influencer is. Look at this, real influencer. Come on. Oh, put this box away, Oreo. I found out yesterday night um, when I woke up from my nap, I was looking on my phone and someone said that they saw a stray cat. Um, 
and they thought the cat was lost a few blocks from where we are. So I was thinking about picking up the cat and then housing it overnight. I told Louis about it, and Louis was telling me, he said, Erica, I already have three cats here. I don't want another cat. So, yeah, um, but we could have we could have potentially had four cats over here. I found out that it is, it seems like it's someone's cat, but they let it wander out. You guys know my views on outdoor cats. I really don't think it's a good idea, um, not only for the wildlife, but for the cat itself. It's getting pretty cold in New York, and if for someone to keep their cat outdoors during this time, uh, during this weather, I really, really hope for the cat's sake that they keep the, they bring the cat indoors for winter, because this, you know, winter can be very brutal for a cat. And the cat, from what I was told, it was kind of like Oreo when Oreo met Lewis. You know, he it was the cat was uh, meowing to that person, trying to cuddle up next to them. And yeah, I was thinking about bringing, um, you know, scooping up the cat and bringing it over here. I don't know if it would be a male cat or a female cat, but that's what I was thinking about. Yeah. Yeah, so hopefully that person brings the cat indoors. I, I mean, like, if I'm outside and it's freaking snowing and I see a, a cute, uh, friendly cat with a collar, yeah, I'm going to just scoop that cat up because I'm going to think to myself, hey, if this thing is snowing, the owner should be bringing the cat in, and I'd rather just bring the cat uh, getting in micro-tripped. At least the cat has a, a place that they can stay warm. Now, would this be a good idea to bring in a fourth cat temporarily? I don't know, you know, if the cat is like Oreo and it wants to sleep between us, Oreo is not going to want to share his bed space because he, Oreo is like a bookmark um, at night. He sleeps right, right smack dab between um, Lewis and myself. So, yeah, so that's why that's, I know Oreo, if there was a fourth cat and the, the cat wanted to sleep between us, Oreo would be a, not a happy cat. He would be an angry, angry cat. <laughs> Yeah, so, anyway, that's what I wanted to share with you guys. And, yeah, thankfully, um, someone who saw the person who had the cat, they said something along the lines of, oh, that cat is, uh, is uh, a stray, and they think the cat lives around the area because they've seen the cat um, several times. So, yeah, but I don't know, you know, with that kind of thing, I don't know if the cat is is actually a stray or if it was someone's cat and then it just got lost right you can't assume that a cat is an outdoor cat maybe the cat was uh released maybe the cat was dumped and then the cat's trying to find a home and then when people say oh yeah you know that's someone's cat you're just you know because the cat hangs around the area you're not too sure so i kind of worry about that cat but um yeah you know hopefully i don't i don't hear about that cat again and Oh my good. Oreo, you look super chunky over there. Oreo? Oreo looks like Chunky McChunky over here. Yeah. Yeah, I just kind of worry because like when it gets when it gets really cold, it's not healthy for a cat. And I don't I don't want the cat, you know, possibly getting uh distressed because if a cat is out in the winter time right you imagine they're like if if the cat is a stray what the hell does the cat eat in the winter time right it's it's tough for the cat so i don't like assuming that that cat was someone's outdoor cat i rather just bring it pick it up bring it over to the shelter and um hopefully the owners kind of get that message hey uh keep your cat indoors during when it gets cold it's not it's not um it's not safe and it's not good for the cat. Yeah, it was a really cute cat too. It kind of was like a tab. It was kind of it kind of looked like Oreo, but the tabby instead of or it being solid black, it was a uh, tabby colored. I don't know. I think Lewis would kind of worry about it because he would think to himself, oh man, if, if I brought another cat in, right, would it be cat number four? And then he would just have like, <laughs> it would be th two cats to three cats to four cats to more cats. And yeah, I know. 
Not all, not all cats are cute cats, but I think cats are very sweet, and I think they can be very cuddly. Um, but I have seen feral cats around here. You know, they're not socialized. If they see human, they run off. I still carry a small can of cat food on me whenever I'm walking out, assuming I have my main bag on me, so I can feed a cat. But sometimes I see these cats, and once they see me, it's like I I kneel over to kind of get on their eye level and try to tell them like, hey, I have food. Like they just run away. So those kind of cats, I know that they haven't been socialized, especially if they're like little kittens. They're probably born on the street. Um, they don't have really any interaction with humans and um, they, they just are kind of uh, very, very skittish. So, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, I haven't brought in any cats yet. He brought in. Yeah, so Clinton was, Clinton was a cat that he was dumped out in winter, um, if I remember correctly. He was dumped out in winter, and then Lewis saw him, and he heard about uh, Clinton getting dumped, so he, he took him in, and, well, Clinton never left. And then Clinton had um, some sort of, he has some sort of anxiety about being alone, so he was always crying and crying and crying, and the neighbors were is saying things like, you know, when you leave the apartment, your cat cries for, like, 10 hours a day. <laughs> and... Yeah, the uh, Clinton uh, Clinton didn't stop until he brought in Blackberry. So Black once he brought Blackberry over, Clinton tried to eat her allegedly. Allegedly, and this old Blackberry was very skittish of Clinton. I don't know Clinton. Clinton, as as athletic as he is, as handsome as Clinton is, he does not know how to interact with women. And I just kind of think like, ah, oh, well, I guess it wasn't natural for him. So. Yeah, Clinton uh, does not know how to approach women. He does not know how to line himself up, and that's the way I'll put it. Um, yeah, there is absolutely no way Clinton could have any kittens, even if he wasn't fixed. Like, I, I see what Clinton tries to do to Barry, and I'm like, there is no, there is no way in, in God's green earth Clinton would ever have a kitten with a, <laughs> what he's trying to do to Blackberry. Um, and, yeah, so... That's how he got Clinton and Blackberry. And then Oreo, Oreo, as you guys know, if you saw the video or something like how Lewis met Oreo, he was he was um, outside of his apartment and he was mm -hmm. just sitting down for a little bit. And then Oreo went up to him and Oreo kind of just, you know, did his best uh, feline charming things. And that's what happened. So... Yeah, um, he said that he tried to, he, he said that he put up all these signs around the neighborhood and then people told him, oh no, you know, that cat's been trying to find a home for a while. And then he posted, he thought that maybe someone would contact him if they wanted to adopt Oreo. Nobody wanted to adopt Oreo. And um, yeah, he, he thought he could release Oreo back outside, right? So after he tried, after he tried to find Oreo's home, and he was unsuccessful, he he's you know he said, okay, well I'm just gonna let this cat free and he can be a stray again. You know what Oreo did? Oreo ran back inside. So he actually dropped him off in the front of the apartment, and then Oreo just you know followed him back in instantly. Like he didn't want to be a cat on the streets. And yeah, so he took him in, and he I guess Louis took that as a sign that Oreo did not want to be a street cat. He'd rather be an indoor cat and. Uh, the rest is history. Oreo is indoors and he's been indoors all this time, slowly gaining weight, um, sleeping most of the time. <laughs> and yeah, he he is really a great joy. I love Oreo so much. Yeah, um, I don't know. Like like I said, you know, when, when cats do their thing, they have to be lined up like this, right? This is Barry over here and this is Clinton. So there is no way Clinton is going to be able to have kittens with Barry. I don't know what he's trying to do. Like this is this is some I, I don't know. I don't know where he he got that. So anyway, anyway. So Oreo, Oreo, when he there are sometimes he's successful and he, I've actually seen him on top of Barry. Yeah, Oreo knows how to line up, but Clinton, he just his butt is over here. Like her butt's over here and his butt's over here. Yeah, no kittens. One hundred percent no kittens coming out from that. But all, all three mm -hmm. cats are fixed. So zero chance of them having any kittens. Zero, zero percent chance. I don't know. I just think I wouldn't be surprised if Oreo has some kittens floating around the neighborhood somewhere. 
I kind of, I, I don't know. It's like, I see like a bunch of tuxedo cats around. So I can't help but wonder, are those tuxedo cats related to him? Could some of them be um, his kittens or his brothers or sisters? I don't know. He's a very, very sweet cat. So I will talk to you guys later. Um, I gotta, um, I'm gonna make some tea and then uh, take it easy today. I've been decluttering around the apartments. I think I got rid of, yeah, I have like a whole bunch of stuff getting out of the apartment today. I posted um, a whole bunch of uh, keychains and uh, the, the box of keychains is going on. I'm really happy about that. Uh, I think I got rid of half of my collection for that. My plushies I still have over here. And yeah, um, I have a full rack of plushies. I got to do something about my plushies slowly but surely since they are accumulating here. And I have about five on the way. <laughs> I have about five. Um, I have about five items coming in. So um, yeah, best, best I uh, declutter. So that way this place doesn't look too crazy. Um, I'm also thinking about getting Clinton a cat wheel for Christmas. Um, well, not really Christmas, but just get him a, um, a cat wheel. You know, the one fast cat. You guys might have heard about that. It's basically like a big hamster wheel for cats. The thing costs like two hundred dollars, but I was looking online and some people they're they're trying to sell it for about one hundred dollars. I want to kind of get it for him because I think maybe he would enjoy it. However, there is a chance he might not use it, or if he does use it, I'm kind of worried because I hear some comments about it not being very sturdy. And yeah, he is. I think they said it's not supposed to be good for cats that are over 25 pounds. I think Clinton is like probably around 20 pounds. That when he runs, he really does run. So I, I just don't want him getting injured. Um, I don't think he's going to get injured. But yeah, I got to declutter more. And then once I declutter more, then I can really think about getting a, I think it's like a four foot wide wheel. So it's a 48 inch diameter cat wheel. And yeah, 100% um, sure Oriole's not going to use it. I know Barry's not going to use it. It's really going to just be Clinton's wheel. And yeah, I, I want to make sure that I give him the, I give him the opportunity to work out if he does want to work out. Right now he's doing laps around the apartment. It's nice, but um, if he wants to be a little bit more active, then I would like to give him the tools, like a treadmill, a, really a cat treadmill to be more active. So I'm kind of on the fence with that, um, but I, I gotta. I know where I'm gonna place it most likely. I most likely place it right by the window in front of the plushies. That's my thinking. But 48, 48 inch wheel diameter, four foot diameter. <sighs> yeah, I just I just gotta make sure that it kind of flows with the apartment because this apartment's looking very cat like. You you guys see we have cat toys all around. We have cat trees, cat scratching posts, cat stairs. It's it's very, very cat friendly, and I like having it that way. I'm also keeping Oreo's chair for the time being because he seems pretty possessive about that chair. <laughs> um, yeah, so I will talk to you guys later. Um, let me know what you guys let me know what you guys think about me getting uh, Clinton a one fast cat wheel. I think it's one fast cat wheel. Um, if you guys have any experience with it, I I looked on Amazon and some people like it, but then other people say it's like a piece of crap because it breaks or they think that it makes a lot of noise. I really cannot say how this wheel is unless I receive it, right? And yeah, I just, I just want to make sure with something like that, it is something that isn't flimsy because if the retail price of a cat wheel is $200, yeah, that better be a freaking durable wheel. I don't I do not want to risk Clinton possibly getting injured of sorts. Like I I would feel really bad if if something happened or something chipped or and he's running and yeah, that would not be good. So, yeah. Um I will talk to you guys later. I guess I have my uh I have to give this thing away shortly. So, this is getting out of the apartment. Really happy about that. And I will talk to you guys later. See ya.